If you haven't guessed it from that intro, we're going to build today a can crusher. And we're going to use this pneumatic switch and we're going to set it up. So all you have to do is boom, and the can will crush, let go, and the pneumatic cylinder will reset itself for the next can that you're going to put into the device. So basically, you're going to need a pneumatic switch. I'll put a link in the description of where I bought this switch. I actually got it from Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive, actually. You'll need a pneumatic cylinder. This is probably going to be the most cost of the build, but, uh, you know, 15, 20 bucks if you dig around on eBay. Uh, buy a used one like I did. I was told it works. We're going to find out if it does or doesn't here in a little bit. You're going to need some pneumatic air hose of the appropriate PSI. You'll need some fittings to hook all of this up. You'll also need some scrap metal. Uh, if not, maybe go to the store and buy some new metal. Uh, we're kind of ad lib on this build, see what we can come up with and have a little bit of fun. Like and subscribe to this video if you like do-it-yourself type projects as I do all the time. Now, I also sneak in a review every now and then and those reviews are things that I find intriguing. So bear with me, watch the rest of this video and you might find something that you might want to build. So the one thing I've learned on many of my builds is test the stuff you got before you start building and today I did just that and what we have here is a <laughs> cylinder which I'm happy about. And in case you haven't figured it out, the way these switches work is there's just an input, and this is just a valve. And when the valve is off, it's always putting air to this line here, which is constantly putting pressure on the cylinder, shoving it that way. When you depress the switch, it's like a scuttle valve, it switches, and it puts pressure on this side and releases it this way. There's also some exhaust ports on the back side, which we might tap into that on a later build. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I might actually blow the cans away with the release air uh, once we shove the piston down. We'll just have to get into this build and see how it goes. So in my scrap pile of crap, I was able to find a piece of stock that I bought for another project that I will not be using for that project. That is 3 16 by 3 inch by 4 feet. And so it's a pretty long piece of stock. It's been untouched. And so what I'm going to do is box this ram inside a, a long box. And I've done my measurements, and it looks like I'm going to need about um, 16 inches or so uh, from this line to the end. I think it's actually 19 inches. And when I drew my lines, I have 6 inches in between, which should be enough to make a couple of plates and box this in. And then we'll use some other scrap metal to finish this project up. So now that we tested the air cylinder, we know it's good. Uh, I built the box for this whole contraption, so to speak, and I welded a nut onto a pretty substantial plate here. I just have everything laying in the box just because I want to test it and make sure the air cylinder is indeed powerful enough to crush a can. And so we're just going to kind of test it as it sits, and then we'll kind of polish it up and bolt the ram back in there and clean it up a little bit and come up with a better game plan. So I have a can here. We're just going to drop it in, and I'm going to press this button. And I would say that is a success. So we'll continue on and kind of polish this up and see what we can come up with. One thing I notice is when I'm shoving this can with this ram, that it actually makes a pretty good seal around the top. And sometimes it causes the, with the compression, it actually explodes before it starts to crumble because the air can't escape. Now I want this particular device to hang on the wall and it's going to be rotated about 180 and the cans are going to be sitting in like this so I think if I put some relief ports up on the top some holes then that'll prevent the occasional exploding can so to speak so I've gotten to the point in the project where I could quit and basically I think there's gonna be a part two the way it sits now it's gonna work just fine uh, however I'd like to put an auto feeder on it and I'll probably use those exhaust ports that are on the back side of the button to power uh, the feeder, and maybe the can eject. But uh, the way it sits now, it works really well. You just load the can up, press the button, and I don't know what it is, but there is just something really satisfying about crushing cans with pneumatic air. I don't know if it's the sound, I don't know. But for now, this is how we crush our cans. Remember to like and subscribe my videos, take a look at some of my other videos, you might find something that you like and you might just want to build yourself.